Hey guys, I'm going to show you animated text using your Photoshop. First, you're going to need either a blank document or a picture. I know most of you guys, you guys want to do flash text through, you know, like a banner or something like that. So I'm just going to use this for now. At the moment, you'll notice that once you have your picture up um, in your layers panel, you're right now currently at your background with a lock on it. So we're going to click on the picture, then right click. And you're going to click on the option that says duplicate layer. And then you press enter or OK. Once you have that, you go into the top where it says window. Click on it and then go down where it says animation. And this little box is going to show up. Once you have that open, you're going to click on this icon right here with the three horizontal lines with an arrow pointing down. And then you're going to click on Make Frames from Layers. As you notice, two of your animation frames are going to show up, same as your Layers panel. I'm just going to give you a quick advice. Make sure that you click, even if you have like 40 layers, let's say, from your GIF um, that you made earlier, or if you're doing the same thing that I'm doing, just make sure that you click on the very top layer on your layers panel. Because if you have, let's say, 30 layers and you're in the middle, all your text is going to be in the middle, and then it's not going to work. Same thing on your animation frames. We're going to start with one because it's the same sequence. So let's just leave it like that. So, top layer first animation frame. Once you have that, you're going to click on your text icon. And I'm just going to pick my text real quick. So we have your text. As you notice, as I was saying, once you click on your top layer, your text will show up on top, and that's what you want. Once you have that, you're going to click on your text, which to me is already highlighted. You're going to right click and click on blending options, and then you're going to leave it at zero for now. Once you do that, you're going to go to your animation frames and click on your second one and then you're going to go back to your name and then click on you could do either 10 increments, 15 increments, or 20 increments to start slow because most GIFs they you know we have flash and text even if it goes very fast it starts very slow zooming in appearing so for flash and text I should like to go 15 or 20 so let me just do this one 15 as so you notice in your picture banner is already showing up. You're going to click on this icon right here. It's right next to the trash. And that's going to duplicate your second frame. And in your thing, your picture is, you see it's no difference from 2 and 3. So what you're going to go next is going to go to back to your name. Right click, blending options. And we're going to go 30. Like I said, we're I like to do 15 increments, so 15, 30, 45, 60, you get the point. So I'm just going to do that. Just do the same, repeat them. If you do 15 increments, um, it goes up to 90, then up to 100. Once you have that, if you play it, you see your flash and text 
it seems like it has a hiccup once it goes from a hundred to a zero and then it plays we're gonna fix that next first click on the last um, layer animation frame that you have you're gonna duplicate it and then now we're gonna go down so if you did increments of 15 just go down 15 And once I hit 15, I usually like to do one more with a 5. I just like it to seem like it's t slowly more disappearing. So once you play it, it looks better, but it's going too fast. And so we're going to first click on any of the frames. And then you're going to go back to that option pop-up menu with the lines and the arrow pointing down. And you're going to select all frames. If you want all of them to be at the same speed rate, do that. If you individually want something to go faster or slower, just select any frame and you can edit it. But to me, for now, let's just select all frames. And then there's this timer at the bottom of your frame. It says zero seconds at the, at the time being. We're going to click on that. And as you can see, when it pops up, there's different options. For right now, I like to click on other because I like to do my own time. And so right now, it says zero seconds. You click on after the zero. And I like to do 17 because it's not too slow, it's not too fast and then I click on OK and so now when you play it it slowly appears and disappears and if you're satisfied with that great if not then you could change it to whatever rate you want it to be for right now if you just want to save that just go to save as and just for a rule of thumb, I like to save my animations just in case if I wanted to come back to them. So just click on uh, save. And I already did it earlier, but I wasn't too happy. So right now it says Photoshop format options. Just click OK. And so if you ever in the future want to come back to something, you just go back to that folder and look up the Photoshop GIF that you made. And if you want to save it for a page or whatnot, you go to File. I think I did that too fast. You go to File and then Save for Web and Devices. And from there, you'll have this window shows up and at the moment it's going to be an optimized most cases all GIFs animations that you will make it will always be optimized so don't try to change the settings and so once you have that you have this timer right here and it says forever and that's what you want because if you do it once or other it's just gonna do that it's gonna once somebody clicks on your page, the animation is just going to show up once or whatever other format you do. Just leave it on forever. And so you could either play it the same way that it did earlier, but this is the actual way that it will show up on your page. If you're happy with that, you just click on save. And you're done. I hope that clear for everybody. If you have any other questions or concerns or whatnot, just give just shoot me a message, okay?